Welcome back. In the last video, we finished up putting things together by saving and loading our trained model, which is super exciting because let's come to the end of the PyTorch workflow section. So now, this section is going to be exercises and extracurriculum, or better yet, where you can find them. So I'm going to turn this into Markdown, and I'm going to write here for exercises and extracurriculum, refer to so within the book version of the course materials, which is at learnpytorch.io, we're in the 01 section, PyTorch Workflow Fundamentals. There'll be more here by the time you watch this video, likely. And then if we go down here, at the end of each of these sections, we've got the table of contents over here. We've got exercises and extracurriculum. I listed a bunch of things throughout this series of 01 videos like what's gradient descent and what's backpropagation. So I've got plenty of resources to learn more on that. There's the loading and saving PyTorch documentation. There's the PyTorch cheat sheet. There's a great article by Jeremy Howard for a deeper understanding of what's going on in torch.nn. And there's, of course, the unofficial PyTorch optimization loop song by yours truly, which is a bit of fun. And here's some exercises. So the exercises here are all based on the code that we wrote throughout section 01. So there's nothing in the exercises that we haven't exactly covered. And if so, I'll be sure to put a note in the exercise itself. But we've got create a straight line data set using the linear regression formula. And then build a model by subclassing nn.module. So for these exercises, there's an exercise notebook template, which is of course linked here. And in the PyTorch deep learning GitHub, if we go into here, and then if we go into extras, and if we go into exercises, you'll find all of these templates here. They're numbered by the same section that we're in. This is PyTorch workflow exercises. So if you wanted to complete these exercises, you could click this notebook here, open in Google Colab. I'll just wait for this to load. There we go. And you can start to write some code here. You could save a copy of this in your own Google Drive and go through this. It's got some notes here on what you should be doing. You can, of course, refer to the text-based version of them. They're all here. And then if you want an example of what some solutions look like, now, please, I can't stress enough that I would highly, highly recommend trying the exercises yourself. You can use the book that we've got here. This is just all the code from the videos. You can use this. You can use, I've got so many notebooks here now. You can use all of the code that we've written here to try and complete the exercises. But please give them a go yourself. And then if you go back into the extras folder, you'll also find solutions. And this is just one example solutions for section 01. But I'm going to get out of that so you can't cheat and look at the solutions first. But there's a whole bunch of extra resources all contained within the PyTorch deep learning repo, extras, exercises, solutions, and they're also in the book version of the course. So I'm just going to link this in here. I'm going to put this right at the bottom here. Wonderful. But that is it. That is the end of the section 01 PyTorch workflow. So exciting. We went through basically all of the steps in a PyTorch workflow, getting data ready, turning it into tensors, build or pick a model, picking a loss function on optimizer. We built a training loop. We fit the model to the data. We made a prediction. We evaluated our model. We improved through experimentation by training for more epochs. We'll do more of this later on. And we saved and reload our trained model. But that's going to finish 01. I will see you in the next section.